love fit all back with another video and on today's video i just wanted to do a very quick little review my camera's dying and it is super hot rocking the old fashion statement even whenever it's like 85 degrees out here let's go through this fancy little review of this fancy little sweatshirt okay so this is from one of those little lily boutiques um i think it's called the lily i'll insert whatever the name is here I never purchased anything online and since I did let me give you my fancy opinion I got it off of Instagram you know they sponsor all kinds of little fancy things to make you want to purchase because you have to look like that model and when you get it are you going to in fact look like her and feel like she looks like she feels considering it looks all thick warm and cozy right now this sweatshirt was mm, approximately $44, maybe $40, tax made it $44. I really like it, however, I don't think that it was worth $44, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe like $20, it's a little bit... <laughs> the quality is more so like $15, $20. The material is pretty thin. Stitching is a little bit kind of you know, like here, like what is this? And I know this is gonna happen to any company, but you know, you, you want to know that your stitching is intact and you don't wanna see these little frays everywhere, especially for $44. Maybe $44 isn't a lot of money to a lot of people. Maybe I'm just a cheapy cheapish, but um, it is to me. So I expect the quality to be a little bit better. I mean, it's cozy, it's cozy. Now don't get me wrong. I'm definitely going to rock it, wear it and warm up with it. It's a little big. This is a size small, I think. Yes, small. And it is pretty big on me, if you can see. Can you see it? I like my sweatshirts a little bit baggy, so this works. But if you are somebody that wants it to be a little bit, you know, tight and look like the model, then I would maybe size down a couple of downs nah maybe just one down but yeah it is pretty warm if you're going to be in 85 degree weather but if you're going to be in freezing cold weather then you might want to layer up and put another something underneath maybe a jacket over the top i mean the picture looks very warm like when you see this you're like whoa that's warm and it probably is to most people but i'm always super duper cold all the time and so this might not keep me warm warm i just wanted it to be a little bit thicker okay that's that's my little spew on this little fancy little place i really hope you did something great for everybody today and i really really hope you at least i don't know get you something warm and cozy and feel vibrantly delicious and hot in so you can rock the fall weather what whatever talk to you later oh and also on the bag that i'm going to show you here this thing this is where it says want to win a hundred dollar gift card and then you tag them on instagram so i'm going to do that a hundred dollar gift card now don't get me wrong even though the quality isn't as superior as i thought it was going to be i'm sure there's a lot of other things that are and a free a hundred dollar gift card i'm on it and i'm going to be posting away a strickler when it comes to money i don't ever purchase nt thing nt i'm frugal as frugal because can all get out and whenever i do buy something i don't know maybe i have too high of expectations because i just love whenever something feels so like you gotta steal and it's like the best thing that's ever happened since sliced bread no, that's not the best thing that ever happened. I think the best thing that ever happened is more like sliced apples or sliced bananas. I'm so particular with the things that I have that I've got holes all over them and I just love them so much. I don't want to part ways with them because they're just that cozy. And I'm going to try to venture out. Let me know if you have any other suggestions of good quality stuff that isn't so pricey. I am kind of a little bit, a wee bit, a wee bit bummed that it just wasn't what I expected. It just wasn't giving me what the Instagram girl was giving me. You already heard the review. I don't know why I'm reiterating myself. Reiterating? That sounded funny. 
air conditioner. Who does air conditioners in the fall these days? We do because crazy bipolar weather. One day it's like raining all year long and a whole bunch of wind gusts and tornadic situations. And then the next day it's nice, beautiful and peachy. And then it's snowing the next day, you know? And I'm just wasting time and I just wanted to chit chat with you fellow mateys and just say, I wanna buy more stuff. I really do, man. Like, hmm. Yeah, I do. I really do. I'm acting like such a, um, I don't know, cartoon today. I guess I kind of always do. I'm just really happy today. I had a very good day at the Hooterville where I served my 20 year old brother because it was his birthday. No, I didn't serve him alcohol. Did I have this on my lip the entire time I was recording? I hope not. And if so, <laughs> sorry, I'm a trashy kind of gal. No, I'm not really, but I kind of am. I'm hoping that I can get a $100 gift card though. I hope it's not just a chance. That would be so cool if it wasn't a chance and I actually just got to win this just because. That would be super awesome. So prayers in the universe that I win this fancy fella because I want to look cute. I genuinely don't look cute most of the time. I genuinely, genuinely wear these same clothes all the time. I think it's almost like a disease by now that people are a little bit tired of looking at me, tired of seeing the same old What's that cartoon? Cartoons always wear the same stuff. You know, some people go through their clothes in a matter of like a week or so and they're like, eh, I wore this about seven days ago, so let me put that back over there and we'll go with this one. I don't do that. Mine is more so I wear it, take it off, put it in the shower, wear it, put it in the washer, well, I guess it's a shower, and then once it's dry, I re-put that sucker right back on me and either wear it that night or the next day. I have like a five handfuls of clothes that I just keep on wearing and everything in my big old tub of sweatshirts and clothes box of mine that I have, it just keeps pushing down to the bottom and the ones that I wear just keep on loading on the top. You know what I mean? I mean, I do have a sweatshirt fetish. Let me, let me, let me just show you. If you haven't seen my, uh, Kamari Kamari, no, yes, that is a messy bed back there. What is it called? I did a whole video on it and I don't even know what it's called. KonMari, yes, the KonMari method where I was decluttering everything. Don't look at that, don't look at that, but look at this. Look at all these sweatshirts. I mean, this is a big old tub, fellas. I mean, it's deep. It's deep. These are all pretty much, I mean, there's long sleeves in here, but mostly sweatshirts, okay? Sweatshirts that, look how faded that is. Faded, 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 faded. Now, is that just not a little bit ridiculous, fellas? Everything is faded, and I'm just, it doesn't spark joy in me anymore. And look at Brandon's so nice and clean little clothes. He's gonna be so mad that I'm touching them. What if I hug them? I better get out of here. Anyways, I hope you did something great for your body today. I already said that, didn't I? Yes, but I really hope you at least buy you something fancy that makes your little heart sputter. Talk to you later.